looking here at Facebook on the weekly time scale, we can see that on the weekly, uh, we've had a nice little pop down. And uh, it looks like a really dramatic drop here. And yes, that, that is a, uh, a pretty big drop indeed. But uh, I want to just reaffirm what is the trend telling us. So while everybody else may be looking at crazy big bars here on the weekly, you know, we can see that uh, this zone here from the 18, or excuse me, 118. 72 down to the 116.58 is still below us and coincides with previous highs. So I'm going to be looking to see what happens at that level. Moving over into the daily time frame, you can see that our trend is still up and trending even though we've had quite the gap today and we've gapped through a, a few different zones. So when this bar closes, those two levels will disappear. Looking again at the 1872 down to the 1658 as a, a really good level to be watching here for a possible bounce back up to the upside. But uh, big, big news here today on Facebook. And uh, this is the area that I would be looking to find some real good demand, if you will. Okay. So... We will see if that continues to play out here or not. Moving over to the 60-minute time frame into the smaller time frame zones, we can still see uh, down there at the 1823 level, uh, just a little bit of overlap down there with a couple levels. So uh, I still think that we could move down even further. Uh, you can see where the gap originated here off the 60-minute, and uh, we are we're pushing down quite nicely here. I think the important thing to remember is that uh, we are still in an uptrend. So even though we are getting a big pullback, uh, we should look to uh, supply and demand to give us an idea of context and uh, realize that the trend is not over until it tells us that it's over. Is over. And even though we're getting big bars on the uh, daily and on the smaller time frames, we can still look to be like where would this pullback be a good pullback to buy in the direction of the trend. Looking over here at ADPT, this has been a hot stock here today. You can see price moving into new lows since 2014. The real question that I have is where could we uh, really be a, a good seller as a uh, the Elite software says that we are down and trending here, okay? Where would be a good place to really be a, a good seller in all of this? And my thinking is that uh, we just have to wait patiently sometimes. Yes, these uh, big drastic moves do happen here, but uh, we need to be patient uh, to, to wait for a good pullback and then back down. We obviously don't want to sell at the bottom, but we want to sell at a good pullback area. So in my book, this would be a, uh, a good pullback area here on the 60 minute from 1290 up to 15. And uh, then I would be looking to push it back down into these lows at uh, eight or nine. Okay. So those would be the uh, levels that I would be looking for and watching over the next few days here.